You didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Got my usual nerves, like starting nerves, like I said to you in car that time. I'm gonna say, um, welcome to Vlogmas then, going ahead of myself. Nearly though. Nearly, a couple of days. Welcome to pre-Vlogmas. You may notice that this is not my usual habitat, and no, I haven't just decorated. Me and Katie have decided to come to Edinburgh for the Christmas market. Yeah, me and Katie have come to Edinburgh for a few days and this was the reason that vlogmas is going to be delayed this year because we actually are here for four days to the 2nd of december this video is going to be pre-vlogmas which is going to be today and tomorrow then vlogmas begins so you'll see all the festivities of the christmas market kate's just like stood waiting we are going to go out now go and have a look around and explore we have just got off of a four hour train journey <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go and explore find something to eat i think mm. and just have a chilled day for today because it's been a long day already and we haven't even really done anything yet bearings figure out where things are that we want to go to our do that's the plan for the next few <laughs> days and i'm liking this view we've got of just old buildings, buildings. yeah <laughs> had a bit of a walk around mostly just to get us bearings um tomorrow we have actual plans tomorrow will also be in this vlog and then vlogmas begins the day after that's very exciting so i'm gonna end today here but there will be another day on this vlog so i hope you enjoy that too and now I'm going to watch England play Wales. I decided to put my scarf and my coat on, otherwise I'd convince myself I needed another wee. It's cute. And now I've got like my scarf and my coat and I'm like, can't go back to the <laughs> toilet now because I'll have to get like undressed. Good morning. It's another day. Second day of pre-vlogmas. Final day of pre-vlogmas because actual vlogmas begins tomorrow. Today, the plan is to go to the optical illusions museum um but first we're gonna go and get some breakfast here's katie mm -hmm. looking rather lovely today <laughs> and we've both you got the your, um, docks on you can see me in the mirror <laughs> behind you there i am all wrapped up nice and warm <coughs> We're gonna, um, I've got no room to talk when people cough. Yeah, we're gonna go now, get some breakfast, and then go up to the Optical Illusions Museum. You will probably see this side of my face a lot today because I don't know why, but my other arm feels like it's about to fall off. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> That's actually really cute. <laughs>
So we've finished at the Optical Illusions Museum and we've just called back to the room just to put in some things that I've just bought as some like souvenirs. We're just having five minutes and then we're gonna go in search of some donuts that have been recommended to us. Slash donut shop. Yeah. A girl who was working at the Optical Illusions Museum recommended it to us. In um, a gift shop. We must have been getting off a vibe because <laughs> she literally went, do you like donuts? <laughs> and we were both like, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, you need to go to this place. <laughs> she said it went near a train station if anyone is looking for it. So I'm sure that's what it's called if you type in rooms, rooms, rooms and rumours. Also, I'm not being rude. Um, Katie did request not to be filmed right now. <laughs> Later on as well, we're going to go back um, to the Christmas market. When it gets dark, it's better to go as it's getting dark because it all is lit up. So we're going to go back mm. and get a hot chocolate and stuff. Hopefully today, the power do not go out. We were like really disappointed thinking like, oh, it's finished it will at five or six o'clock. Yeah, it was literally about five o'clock and everything were dark and we were like, surely it's not shutting right now at like five o'clock. Turns out the power had tripped out and everything were just in darkness. It says <laughs> well, that said um, bimbo dice. Just want to ask this in the vlog, completely random, but we were on about it earlier in yeah. Starbucks. I'm genuinely curious. How many people anywhere in the world have been somewhere and not realised a famous person has been near? Mm. Yeah, we were on about this in Starbucks. Because once when I were in London, someone from on TV passed me in the street and I didn't realise but my mum did. But I think what got us spared on talking about it was because we were sat in the Weatherspoons in Edinburgh and there was a man in the street, similar age to us, like it doing a proper like, like pose, like he were an influencer with his outfit taking photos. Yeah, it looked like he was taking like outfit uh, of the day photos or something. And just the way he held his self for like, he knows where he's like going. Enjoying and himself. he looks good and he did look good. <laughs> and we're just wondering, I wonder how many like influence, influencers, YouTubers, Maybe celebrities we walk past. Yeah, like how many people you actually walk past during a day and you don't realise. This is a YouTuber me and Gemma watch and you watched her a lot longer. Who um, went to uni in Edinburgh. Yeah, Sunbeam Chef. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a bit of a stupid question because I guess the question is people you haven't realised. Um, yeah, so you won't realise. Until after but, maybe to realise. Yeah, but um, maybe you were like sat in a Starbucks or something. And you're sat having your drink and you just happened to glance up and you didn't realise that... Or if you were stood in a queue or something also, like that. Also, another question. How many times have you gone to go to a cafe in the evening and you think, oh, I just want to go somewhere and have coffee and just chill for the evening and it's not been open because to close at four o'clock? I feel like that's just a British thing. Because I would love, other than like Starbucks, that stays up until about 10 or 11 where we live, um... I would just love for a nice little independent small coffee shop to be up and late where we just can chill. I feel like that is a British thing. I feel like everywhere else things stay up and yeah, like really late. Because we were here looking, it's thinking like of going to a coffee it's... shop and it was six o'clock and it were already shut, lot of coffee shops. I can't remember where it is, but there's like some places. I think it is in like America and things, mm. correct me if I'm wrong. But like I watch some like YouTubers and stuff. Um, who are American and they'll say they're going out for like their dinner which is their like evening meal mm. and it's like nine o'clock and I'm like where are you Me, going at that time everything in Britain yeah. is shut at that time go back out I'm looking and feeling a lot for that donut place yeah. I'm pretty sure it's called Rooms she and said there's like 11 I don't know if she said meringue or like lemon curd donut. yeah she said that she said they're like filled donuts um, which I do like donuts, but I'm expect I think they're gonna be them really big ones that you can get in our local shopping centre now in one of the stalls and they're so big. We're not gonna eat it all. I uh, I'm a bit nervous because I love donuts but glazed is your favourite. I, I just love a glazed I love a glazed donut. I'm looking with my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> we were it's gonna be one Aren't of those. It like eleven o'clock at night yeah, or it's twelve o'clock. It's gonna be one of those moments where like you had to be there. To it was midnight. I actually want it because we finally went to bed. Yeah, we were laid in bed together. It, it was just like you were gonna ask me, and I just. Katie had got their back to me, and I was like looking, and there's like lights outside at bed. Katie's were on because we were talking previously, mm. but then. Um, we decided to go to sleep 
Kate's light was still on. You turned others off and I just saw Yeah, like the room lights were off, the TV were off. In my head it looked brighter than normal, but I didn't know why. <laughs> so, I'm laid down and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a nap. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't know why I'm staring. Well, not even staring, but I was facing the that way. You kind of like zoned out. And <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, I don't know why I'm staring. Well, not even staring, but I was facing that way. You kind of like zoned out. And in my head I was thinking, Katie didn't say that she slept with a light on. Not that it's a problem if she does. We'd been talking about like stuff what might keep the other person awake or something. Yeah. Like, do you snore? Do you not snore? Do you like turn around a lot in bed? Sort of thing. Do you uh, prefer a side at bed? Yeah. Because if you do, so you, you were sleep like, on in that the side. mindset that if I needed a light on, I would have told you. Like, I can't sleep yeah. like that. Yeah. So I thought, well, Katie never mentioned it, but if it is a thing, no problem. <laughs> and I literally went, Katie. <laughs> and literally, as I said it, Katie went. Oh my god, we're lying. <laughs> it it's not like, even that bit, it's the second sentence it I will, said. It will be like, like shallow what? Because we look at our mum. <laughs> oh our lady, uh, and I turned and I was like, Katie. Oh my god, we're lying. <laughs> and then I was so hard to knit. So after saying that, I was like, Oh, you did the whole. Oh, I didn't know if you needed to sleep with a light oh, on like, or not. Yeah, I, I did think, why is the light still on? And uh, then. Oh, I didn't know it were on, but I was looking with my eyes and it were on. It was a... I was looking with my eyes. And I noticed that the lights were on. I think I could stop laughing for like now. 20 minutes after that. Also, completely randomly, just going to mention this in the vlog, because I forgot to mention it yesterday when I started pre-vlogmas. Edinburgh nearly didn't happen. Oh, because me and Katie had to run through the train station where we live. So and we set off fast. nearly an hour early just to get there was, on time. There were loads of traffic. Thank you, Dad, for getting us there on yes, time. Yes, thank you, Gary. And luckily, the train were delayed by three minutes. The funny it's thing... not. <laughs> we did miss it. The funny thing is, we set off running through the train station because Katie had got it on her phone, so we knew... Which platform. What platform and... Where it should... What time it should be. Yeah, and we knew that it hadn't been changed or anything. So Katie said... You've got longer legs than me, you go in front and then I'll go behind you. So we had to go up some stairs to cross over the train lines and come back down some stairs on the other side. When I came back down the stairs on the other side, the train, was, the train, pulled the train was literally pulling in on the platform. So I was like, okay, we're, we're here in time. We're out of breath, but we're here in time. <laughs> well, I turned, someone was there in time. I turned round. <laughs> And Katie was nowhere to I be seen. I was still down the hallway, climbing up the first set of stairs. <laughs> nowhere to be Which, seen, like not even anywhere inside. It wasn't even just that I was out of breath. My backpack kept falling down my arm, which kept knocking my suitcase. And then I was trying to carry it with the like handle that you pull it along with, with wheels. And it kept popping up higher and then... <laughs> so I was literally like, I don't know what to do now because like I'm here. As it's literally going to stop the train. And... Katie were nowhere in sight. Okay. I saw Katie at the top of the stairs and I was like, come on! In my head I was just like, hopefully Gemma would just stand halfway out in the door. I and actually, then it would shut. I actually did think like I could pretend that like I couldn't get my suitcase down or something. Like oh, if I stood ask near questions the door. to the conductor. Yeah, I'd have been like, is this the train to Edinburgh? Uh, that goes through Newcastle? It's it goes through this place? It's here. Yeah. It? yeah. And then as Katie got to the bottom of the stairs, I'd have been like, all right, yeah. <laughs> Getting yeah. on train. The fact that I also had my phone on constantly and every five minutes we were checking to see if we'd gone past which yeah. station, if we were halfway. It were a bit of an anxiety induced. To be fair, trip. once we are on the train, it was we're fine. We were not we just issues. Um, I think it made it worse because it was so foggy. Because we couldn't rushed, see anything. And then we had a coffee fit for half an hour on the train because you were already bad anyway at the moment. I think it trip. was the fact that we got onto a platform. We didn't even hear the announcement for the train or anything. The train pulled in and we got on it. And then we had to like try and get through a crowd of people on the thing and then get the seat, the suitcases like in front of our seats and it'll just... Yeah, uh, but we got here. Um, I mean there's probably a funny video on their cameras. On the yeah, just running station. through station. Me like nearly falling with my back. And just for reference, um, it is a four hour train journey from where we live. It's quite a long journey for two people who've got anxiety <laughs> and one person who's got travel sickness. And one um, person needs to wee every five minutes. You did very well. I d we only went once, didn't we? But I, I was so scared. About Have you all seen like look? the people what film TikToks and were like, oh, they went on the train and because it's all like, electronic, the toilet things now. It, it lock itself locks and you have to press the button instead of twisting the oh, 
I washed it in myself. I was sort of toilet leaning forward near the door and like the thing in the door because it's not got a proper handle. When I went, I thought, I'll take my phone with me because if I get stuck in there. <gasps> and I forgot mine and I was like, what if it doesn't work for me? Is Gemma going to come in you half an hour? You did take a bit of a white... Not a while, but it feels longer than yeah. it actually is. And I thought, well, the phone. It's because I like... kept pressing the button because it was saying it was locked, but the button didn't flash up to say it was locked. So I'm like, yeah, the screen says it's locked, but I ain't trusting it. Yeah. No one needs to see my ass out on the toilet. Vlogmas day one will be in Edinburgh, and then Vlogmas day two will be in Edinburgh, but we're going home. So. There might not be as much filming on, on our last half at day. Yeah. You'll probably see a bit of what we get up to. Like Friday morning. We can see his breakfast at this unlimited breakfast. We got a few <laughs> updates. Uh, my dad said that Twinny were fast asleep in my bedroom. I wonder how he got on this morning because you said you have to go down with him to let him out or he won't go down. I woke up at exactly the same time Twinny usually gets me up to let him out. So I'm Five like, five. I'm like programmed in. Yeah, I, I was telling Gemma earlier, but I woke up early in the morning. It will be between like maybe five and seven. And I turned over, so I didn't feel right, and I turned over to look at Gemma, and she was laid on her back, and her legs were bent like, as they are now. Outwards. Um, I don't know how she was in that position, but... <laughs> and she felt... She was asleep, right? I couldn't see her breathing, and her mouth were hopping a bit, like, just hanging up and... Katie thought I was and dead. And I generally were, like, just looking at her for ten seconds, and then I got worried she was going to open her eyes and be like, Katie, why are you staring at me, Why are you staring at me? <laughs> I genuinely no, like, do I need to touch a bit? And what if she gets annoyed that I've woken up? <laughs> Another two nights of Katie's snoring. <laughs> I didn't realise. I, I did get snoring. warned by Katie's mum. You did, because I didn't believe my mum. So I've never snored up until two years ago. I might record you tonight. Will you? Because I want to hear what I sound like. <laughs> Wait until you hear what I sound like. Am I that bad? <laughs> oh, so, do I do it right long and loud? Yeah. My mum does that. She's like... <laughs> So we're back at the room now and what time is it? It's only quarter past eight but we're trying to stick to getting settled at a good time so that we can get up at a good time because me and Katie aren't morning people. This is going to be the end of pre-vlogmas. Katie's like smoking to me at the other side of the room and it's making me excited <laughs> because vlogmas begins tomorrow. Because I'm away from home we're not starting the advent calendars tomorrow will do them when I get home. Vlogmas does begin tomorrow, so from tomorrow, each of the vlogs will probably be their own separate day, depending on how much footage I have. I'm gonna insert some footage from today. Both of these clips were filmed on my phone, so they're gonna crop funny. She's sighing because she knows exactly what I'm about to say. Both of the clips are two instances, both from today, what Katie dropped her food. <laughs> we were at the Christmas market and Katie dropped their... Potato chip things? Yeah, potato chip stick. I can't remember the actual name. They're like right? crisp, but they were fried ones. Yeah, there. you'll have seen them. They're them like it's potatoes like that are like thing. spirals on sticks. Yeah, she dropped that on the floor and then dropped pancakes on the table downstairs. <laughs> Depending on how much footage I have for each of the days, the days will probably be one at a time going forward um, and hopefully we can catch up over the next few days because obviously these won't be up until I get home. I probably won't get out done on the Friday when I get home because me and Twinny will just... Monday when you're back into a routine. Me and Twinny will be like this having cuddles. Oh. Arjun will just be like, oh you're back. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't believe I told animals that I have at mine. The one what's having a party at the moment is the chameleon. Yeah, Katie's chameleon's really so not having a good time. Like, I think reptiles don't have much of a personality and don't love your mind as being in his corner of his tank, not wanting food and not wanting to be held by anyone else. Bless. Just for a random reason, I thought I'd do a mini haul of some souvenirs that I've bought people. Also, update on the donut place. 
they only sell certain donuts on certain days so have a check Do your but they were nice viewers know about your like jam situation my jam situation yeah this this hatred you have towards jam i don't like jam <laughs> don't like jam so jam had a donut today you might see a clip for it i had a raspberry jam donut i took a very short clip of the donut. It's around the, the I left, jam. I left jam on plate <laughs> and ate the donut. You left a tiny bit of a donut, you couldn't get the, the But jam I left off a the tip. Donut. You did. You so, did quite a bit. so I got these socks for my dad because we were kind of on about like things having people's names on and Katie said, Oh I wonder if you could find some socks with your dad's name on. And I did and ironically they fit my dad so well. So mm. my dad helps me out with my car in the sense of when there's any strange noises on it, <laughs> it needs its oil oh, changing. Dad like helped me with my roller skates. He fixed the yeah, wheels on that. My dad fixed Katie's roller skates. Um, my dad's just a helpful person, a handy person to have around. Also, my dad got us to the train station on time when there was like traffic. For us to come to Edinburgh, so I got him these socks, but they're basically a socks with his name on underneath my thumb, and then around his name it says, "Proof that not all heroes wear capes." And then my dad's partner really likes Highland cows, and she's not after every all stuff you bought. What's just Highland yeah? Cows? Everywhere we've been, we've seen Highland cow things, and when we were in the gift shop of the Optical Illusions Museum, <laughs> stop it. I saw this. He's got big googly eyes. It's got a name. It's called Angus. There's just something about him. He's got a bit of a personality. He's more cartoony looking. The other ones have been like realistic. He's got a bit of a personality about him. My family have become one of those like we have novelty fridge magnet families. Um, so I got my nanan this one with like bagpipes. I think they're called Highland Terriers. The white dogs. Maybe. I know the Terriers and yeah. the Fix Yeah, and the Loch Ness Monster, which I do believe is real. You named my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> you don't get that, do you? No. Twilight. <laughs> oh. No, I've never seen Twilight. I'm disappointed in you. And then I got my mum this one because I thought she would appreciate the novelty aspect of it. Kate is just listening to my haul as if she doesn't know what I bought, but she I'm encouraged- I'm looking like excited about Yeah, she encouraged me to buy all of these things. You know the next time we do anything like this will be when we give each other as Christmas presents. And then I got my mum and her partner. <laughs> Not going to explain why. Because it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. Those that get it, get it. Those that don't, don't. Um, I got my mum and her partner. Oh my god, it's a fucking lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas tree bauble because my mum and her partner get married next year. You can probably tell that there's two women on this bobble. Oh, I'm like, what's the hole in it for? <laughs> but it's just where the thing goes round top of the, oh, round top of the head. It's really cute. The only inaccuracy is I think both of them are wearing dresses at their wedding. Oh, is, is one not wearing a dress? One's wearing a white suit and one's wearing a dress. Oh. And then I obviously had to get something for myself. Once again, those that get it, get it. Those that don't, don't. We have two Christmas trees in our house. The one that stands in the dining room has novelty baubles on it. I saw this bauble and I just thought, that looks like a Mini Cooper carrying a Christmas tree. So we need that on our novelty tree because this is me at Christmas. Do you remember when you told me to buy that live, really small Christmas tree you made to put in your car? Yeah. In your Mini Cooper? And the fake snow got attached to you. <laughs> yeah, there's a clip of that. Was that last year? The year before? Maybe. So those are all of the things that I am bringing back for people as like souvenir type stuff. We have also seen a few other things that we're going to pick up over the next couple of days before we go home. Yeah, I think you mentioned you're getting some sort of biscuits for your mum. My mum asked for them. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's going to be the end of this vlog. Uh, because we did ramble a lot today. And it is two days paired together, so there's probably going to be enough footage. Just do it. I'll cut it out. I'll put a duck noise over it. <laughs> <laughs> you did.
didn't even hesitate. <laughs> I don't think the okay. I don't think the duck noise is long enough to go. <laughs> you know when I pass things, you blow. It's not even. Yeah, I'll have to find like some random noises. Just... Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're gonna have enough footage for today. Well, for this vlog anyway, because there's been two days together, and we rambled earlier. <laughs> there are more vlogs coming because tomorrow Vlogmas begins. The Christmassy vibe. I mean, it's already been Christmassy vibes, but. The Christmas vibes will properly begin because obviously Vlogmas is gonna continue up to Christmas every day from this when this vlog goes up really. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because Katie has been waiting half naked for I don't know how long. <laughs> I'm about to pee myself and um, we're gonna get settled for the evening but I shall see you again tomorrow for the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs>